I, I was laughing because, you know, one of the things everyone was saying was like, we, we need to see the balance. Like, where's the balance? Yeah, where is it? It's so... <laughs> it's like, yeah. So the, so the answer was to plug something big saying show balance. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... Like, Smart guy. Yes, yeah, like <laughs> show balance. They can't see the balance. So what is the what's the problem? They can't see it. Yeah. Okay, let's have a you need to know the balance. just a science thing. Show balance. Balance. Like, balance. Balance. Like, okay. balance. 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 This year, I have cried twice. The first time is most recently when I went to Nyayo House to try and get a passport. And earlier in the year when I downloaded um, Loop um, V2, I think I've shared my experiences in the past with Loop. And I connected with someone on LinkedIn who shares the exact same sentiments. You know, radical honesty is what I want when I when I'm looking for feedback. And I just want to intro my guest who... Um, we connected on our, you know, despair on how Loop has gone. So over to you, Robert. Give us an intro of who you are and, yeah, we can go from there. Thanks, Wangari. Um, thank you for having me on your channel. Um, yeah, it's great to be on here and um, with just the connection of what Loop was was to us and what it is now and how it um you know, went through this uh, cycle of decline in my point of view. And I'm a product manager. Uh, I must say I, I am also a, had a big background in consulting and also in uh, sales enterpri uh, enterprise sales. So for me, I can understand, you know, what they're going through and what they were trying to achieve. And I guess the point was, you know, how do they execute that kind of a vision and what happened? So, yeah. Out of my frustration, I wrote some few things on LinkedIn and uh, I got some comments and I'm glad you reached out to me. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I mean, I loved, as I said, I loved how radically honest you are. I think I've seen, I saw an interview on Ali Talks where he was talking to the CEO and I reached out to the CEO by the way. I reached out to the CEO, head of products. I invited you guys, come on set, let's discuss this. It's not going to be an easy conversation. Um, but it kind of felt like on Ali Talks, it was very much a marketing or a, a, a pitch, like no. You know, sometimes customers don't know what they want. No tough conversations were being had. Um, so yeah, I'm excited that you accepted to come and chat with me. I guess I want to I want to look back because I remember when I first started using Loop. This was maybe when I moved back from to Kenya. This was like maybe 2018, yep. and I loved it. Yeah. Remember? It was great. What was the logo? Unbank yourself. Unbank yourself. I'm like, yes, that is what, yeah. as a Kenyan, a millennial Kenyan, I need. You I need to, need to go to the teller. I don't nothing. need to go to the teller. Yeah. I need an app that works. Yeah. I need to transfer money. Um, and that was, that, what happened? Like You know, and I remember the excitement of actually just going there and the banking hall was not even a banking hall. I, I registered at Yaya. Oh, yeah. And it was just, you You just do the biometrics and you get your card. And, and your you card go, is printed at the ex bank. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, wow. And yeah, that yeah, was yeah. just fantastic. And I was like, I'm done and I won't see you guys ever, ever again. You yeah, know, yeah. that's the last of, of, of that. And over the time, we were, I was using it and it was great. You know, you pay your bills, you transfer money, uh, things were going okay. Um, then I guess something started happening maybe last year or the year before. But maybe we can get that to that later. But I really enjoyed the app. Yeah. I really had a good time. I think one thing I loved about I don't know, like with I like I said, I've I tried it. I'm like it's too busy. What one thing I loved about the original app, the real one, yeah. was like the goals. Like I loved how you exactly. could have like buckets yeah. and you can separate your money. Because that's that's like kind of how we save. Yeah. As like that's how I save. Like, put that money aside. I never want to see it. Yeah. Um, I loved also how they had like a community. Yeah. Like it kind of told you how much you're spending compared to like the community. Yeah. Uh, you know, you benchmark yourself. You see. Yeah. What, exactly. What, you know, am I overspending? Am I underspending? Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm sure those are, those are features are still there in the app. We just I can't, can't find, find them. them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, done. Sure, I'm sure they're still there <laughs> somewhere hidden behind uh, yeah. uh, three passwords and I don't know what else they've put behind. But 
I'm sure, but we, I mean, I really enjoyed the, that, that interaction you're saying. It was so simple, you know. And then once they also introduced the, the fact you could de- deposit from M Pesa with Oh my even, God, that was the best. You the, know, the first bank again yeah, doing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You didn't even ask, you know, it was on that pay bill, send to pay bill, like just in the app, deposit your money. Have they you know, gone back to that? Because I still also can't find that feature in the app from, for, from what it looks like it's now it's, a, it's back like, to pay bill like to be honest I did I had to do a bank transfer <laughs> I was looking at that thing it's like <laughs> I don't know what's going on here yeah, so yeah. I'm sure it's there once again I'm sure it's there but um, yeah. it's just struggling to find those and and especially if you're used to a certain routine a certain flow of yeah. I, I step, do this step then I do this and I get it so you get to a point where you're just too frustrated and you just you're just like you I know, quit yeah yeah, and I, I do think, like, to be honest, they they did have challenges. Because mm. I, I, when, earlier on when I was banking with them, it was pretty good. Um, it used to work. But, like, I noticed sometimes there would just be back-end challenges. Yeah. Like, PesaLink is yeah. okay. But I know PesaLink is a complete different infrastructure. Mm. But, like, their OTPs are not coming. Yeah, exactly. Their you money know, is you, you sent to M-Pesa, but then it's been sent yeah. somewhere else. Like, my and card was, like swiped like you know I, I i was caught in the uh, naivas one time i exactly. tried to do my my grocery shopping and the card failed yeah. and there was a queue behind me and i mean the teller was just looking at me like boss you're here trying to buy all these things and you uh, and you have no money you have no <laughs> It's so embarrassing. Oh, banks banks I, oh in Kenya gosh. can embarrass you. Oh That's my all like, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Then you call the bank and they're like, oh no, MasterCard is down. I don't know what was going on. I was like, no, why didn't you tell me this? Yeah, like, give me the Oh, uh, We were planning to send an SMS or something else. It's like, okay. Yeah. You could have given me options, you know. Um, yeah. And then also th- another thing, I, I think the, there was a challenge with them. Like I always had a challenge with their customer care. Yeah. Like they always felt like, especially I guess when they merged, like there was always like loop is like you're calling from loop. Well, let me send you to this person. Oh, it was yeah. like a, yeah. like you're sent through many people and you have like the call and then it's NCBA and then <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, then, oh my gosh. Uh, then they say, no way, I'll transfer you to the loop guys. And you're like, who is who now? Yeah, you know? it was very, very confusing. Yeah, who who do I reach out to? Who? And then sometimes also in the app you could uh, uh, raise a service ticket. Yeah. Um, so, they would take a long time to respond to that. And then yes. when, when they do, it used to be a random number. So I remember one time doing it and then they were calling me and I was like, now, who's this? Are these, are these guys for committee Self- or what's yeah. this? You know? Hey, committee prison. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not <laughs> answering this. Then later on, I was, you know, doing True Caller and then some guy, I saw some guys had tagged it as uh, NCBA. I was like, oh, maybe they're calling me for that. So okay. that's how I figured out it was them. But yeah, I mean, the customer care, but I think this was happening like the last two years. And yeah. in hindsight, it makes sense because they were probably now move transferring or migrating over or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were, I guess in my option, they have, two, they have two things. You either maintain what you have and you just throw a bandage on it and say, you know, let's keep going. Um, or even if they wanted to work with the former uh, vendor, you know. Strands. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they have married someone else. Can you imagine calling your ex and saying, can you help me out? <laughs> They'll be like, no, go call those new guys you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. with now, you know? Uh, so it's one of those things. They say, the, you know, just abandon it. We're moving on. Just do what you can to hold it. And then eventually we'll move everybody over. So yeah. maybe that's why those things like the OTP, you know, the cards are not working, all of that. Because why, why are they investing in something that they know they're about to abandon? Yeah. yeah. But for me, like... So having talked about how good they are, yeah. the things that we loved, the challenges that were there, like there was nothing in, wrong in terms of the user experience. There was nothing, yeah. I mean, like the user experience, the user interface, it was very simple. Exactly. It worked. It, it was basic. Like I always used to, I remember when I ha- had my gig at the bank, I used yeah. to benchmark guys. Just kind of do what Loop are doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, they have the playbook. Like at the end of the day, just what Loop are doing. I especially liked how like if you need to do like a bank to bank transfer. Yeah. Right now, the app has so many options. Yeah. We... At the end of the day, me as a cu- customer, I want to know what's the cheapest and fastest yeah, way exactly. to make a transfer. Yeah. Don't give me what I'm like. What is RTGS? What is EFT? What is Pesalink? <laughs> like to me, that is stuff that yeah. used to like really Neither confuse it tells me. you how many t- how long it'll take. Yeah. And the cost, you know, they tell you this one's sixty four shillings, this one's thirty two. Yeah. Now it's like a, a million options. It's or, a list of things. I just want to transfer money. Oh, Why are you giving me 
<laughs> and it's oh it's so complicated this option it's so complicated in fact and anyway, hopefully we'll get into it because the, when you're doing the transfer i don't know if they use like google translate to do the ui because they ask you to <laughs> wow i hope not proceed to pay or reject to pay so i'm like is this a trap like <laughs> Which one, me. Yeah, which one do I choose? Is it yeah. proceed? I want to pay. So do I reject to pay or do I proceed to pay? So it's one of those things like the, the attention to detail somehow was overlooked to me. Yeah, but I also see like this is a trend Kenyan apps are going into this super app. Yeah. Yeah. Which I personally do not think is the smartest, yeah. especially for the Kenyan persona. Yeah. Because, I mean, we were talking about this even before yeah. the set. So you have a guy who you pay gas for. You know yeah. your gas guy. You know right? your guy. You, yeah. know, you, you know this is my guy for this. This is my kaplama. This is the guy, my mechanic. Yeah. He does his thing. But now when the mechanic just starts telling you he's going to sell you gas <laughs> and the plumber is also telling you he'll fix your car because he knows, you know, uh, You'd be rent. like, no, 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 You're no, like, no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> and that's what like super apps are doing yeah, this, like you know, Mpesa, and then yeah. Trying to throw everything under the sun. And I was trying to figure out, okay, apart from WeChat, you know, which is the other successful, you know, super, super app, app that you can really, you know, pinpoint and say, these guys are also doing this yeah. and they've really succeeded. Um, there's, there's not much there. And you'll find a lot of articles saying they're just ivory towers that guys are now saying this is the new way to go about it and we do anything but i'm sure even with WeChat, they were central to the customer of that area yeah that exactly they do you know yeah. and they understood for our environment this is what the customer wants yeah but you can't just simply copy paste and uh, cookie cut and bring and, it to another environment. yeah and you can see yeah. that tempesta is doing mm -hmm. that in yeah. fact like <laughs> again mm -hmm. I, I even had to go back to the old and pesa up because yeah. I'm like this is too much. I just want to do basic yeah, exactly. to make payments, pay bill. Anything I, I else also is use just... the Safari come up more yeah, majority yeah. of the time, yeah. you know, because the steps are straightforward. One, two, three. <laughs> I buy my data. I send my money. You know, that's it. And uh, by the time I go into the super apps. So I don't know, man. Maybe in your audience can tell you which super apps I used actually. Yeah, because you know, I, like good, yeah. I don't know. Uh, like I personally, I know myself. I would. I'd, I'd rather personalization and customization versus yeah. a super app like yeah. i'd rather be able to yeah. customize and personalize yeah. my my app yeah hyper personalization of it yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and you you now feel that you know they're really understanding what you want yeah they're really understanding your empathizing with what you're you know what you're going through on a daily day basis yeah. as opposed to i feel a lot of these things are being presented to boards and it's now board centric as opposed to customer, customer centric, centric. <laughs> you know? but that's the way as, as again <laughs> having yeah. worked in banks yeah. i empathize with people who have to build apps in banks yeah because as you said it mm. is the i mean it's very rare that like the teams have that autonomy to yeah. make those decisions yeah. but at the end of the day it's it's the board who's yeah. making this decision exactly. you've heard of the hippo Highest, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> highest, that's, that's how we prioritize highest, yeah. highest paid person's opinion. Opinion on it. Yeah, and, and if they're the shoutiest, yeah. the loudest. They know shit about products <laughs> or tech, yeah. but they're making the call. They make the call, and yeah. what are you gonna do? You either do that, or you don't get paid, or you get fired. And it's a, it's unfortunate. And also with them, I think they they also made a deadline. Yeah, I feel like Loop had this deadline, and they're like, you know, because I, I doubt anybody. Nobody in the whole organization raised their hand and said, you guys, I don't think this is the way things are going. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in there. Somebody must have. You hope so. Yeah, no. <laughs> they're, they're brilliant people there. You know, I used to sell software to them. So I know there are some very sharp people So once there. they listen to? Why, why don't you guys listen to your people internally telling you Because don't, the highest paid person probably the made highest the call. Person <laughs> person they, <laughs> they probably made the call. Yeah? And mm. now they were making this deadline and it was probably December and then it got delayed and all QA was thrown out the window. All um, UX was thrown out the out window. The window. Yeah, and they were just like, we have to make this deadline. So who should be held accountable for the death of Loop? Like, at the end of the day, me, it's like, at the, I'm sad, like, it's sad. It saddens me. Huh? The one bank I was relying on mm. to unbank us I don't know, has yeah. died. I think they just need to really review internally and say, listen, at what point did we lose track? You know, at what point did the customer stop being central, and all of these things started coming to the, you know, to the core of what we are doing? Is it yeah. the deadline? Is it the board? Is it personalities? You know, is it the vendor? You know, who? At what point did we 
move off the track and now what they need to do is hone in mm. and go back to that and say listen um this is the this is the customer and in my point of view it's like think about it it's most people are, are within like certain limits right yeah from from maybe zero to infinity whatever or even negative and then you play your part within those limits and say this us guys we're gonna focus on this and if you look at the other products they keep saying they're the ones who do i'm sure they're the ones who do feliza like no the team that is running loop is also the same team that is running emshuari is the same team that is running fuliza so we have the experience of managing significant platforms i think that is important for people to appreciate and understand mm. so with fuliza you see they are at the one tip maybe the zero then you have the emshuari yeah. then and then maybe they should introduce this loop light then they keep the bank up yeah, yeah. then they you know you you move and you go all the way you can even go to the government the government's looking to fuliza 50 billion in march yeah. maybe there's an app for them you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's something for them but it cannot be the loop up you know you have to segment yeah, you customer have, segmentation you have so to personalize key. to what they want you yeah. know you can't just uh, say we have this thing that's going to suit everybody under the sun you know yeah. it, it it just can't happen that way and and you'll find everyone is like even before fleza the guys of uh, okwa jahazi and mode they are even further lower in the limit yeah. but there is a million dollar company you know yeah. so they are focused on Very what they on what they're doing and just achieving that and without sacrificing what i don't understand is why did they have to give up the bank up for this wallet business that they're doing now yeah they should have just kept that Yeah, I don't know. And then test. <laughs> I don't have that. Just test the test the market with this loop thing because I find that it's so close to what Empress is also trying to do. Yeah, that is so true, yeah. So the question to them is, you know, what is their what's their competitive advantage? What is their thing that will make me say I'm not going to use Empress. Let me to use, use loop. Loop. Before big, there was something before there right before, now because it was a banking app you yeah, know yeah, yeah. it was not a wallet, a wallet yeah. and now they're trying to enter that wallet space and force everybody to to be in that and what's crazy is they still need mpesa because they that's what's using to deposit yeah, yeah, yeah. so the inflow <laughs> you're saying don't get rid of it yeah but uh, to naitaji to bad you know we are better but don't get rid of it because we need you to deposit money So you're like what 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 do I work with now? What, yeah. what 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 are you guys selling me? So now they throw everything in the kitchen sink and and tell you this is what we have. Do you think they use an agile process? I'm a big believer in iterative building yeah. and even when you're changing when you're shifting a product yeah. you're going for to a V2. Yeah. It needs to be a very iterative yeah. um process. Yeah. And I mean I've seen like job adverts I've seen this them tell us or we mm. build in a very agile yeah. way but like even how that app was released as you said it yeah. felt very rushed like you literally shut down and, green up and to when green they did orange it. can you imagine <laughs> they did it end of january yeah what guys are getting the bishara yeah they're not in the january since jamhuri la, la last time guys were paid yeah. then end of january is when you're like listen this is when we're going to shut down everything and turn off the other one while turn it off guys yeah. are waiting for their salaries guys are waiting yeah. for to pay all these bills that have been hounding them and then that's when you decide to launch so i'm not even sure that that is a le- legitimate agile process because you're like You have to consider when am I launching, you know? Yeah. How how am I emphasizing with this with, yeah, customer of customer mine? Customer mine, yeah. I can't do it anything at the end of the month because that's when most people are getting their uh income. Yeah. So just really trying to emphasize and really get into the picture of the customer. Yeah. What are we doing for them as opposed for us? I feel like for them at that point is we have to launch. Like Yeah. It doesn't matter forget the customer we have you to have launch, to launch. <laughs> you know we've told the board we yeah, must yeah, launch yeah we were late <laughs> this thing should have come in december now we're in january yeah, yeah. you know uh, let's move over so yeah we, we really wish they really put it so in the agile they mentioned that every two weeks i saw the uh, they made a an update it was four weeks later so this is now <laughs> the end of the month yeah. so it's not exactly two weeks so i see that they're working on it but you know <laughs> i i was laughing because you know one of the things everyone was saying was like we we need to see the balance like where is the balance yeah where is it it's so t- <laughs> it's like yeah so th- so the answer was to plug something big say show balance yeah. <laughs> so it's like Like, smart guy yeah it's like <laughs> show balance they can't see the balance so what is the what's the problem they can't see it okay let's have a 
just a sign thing show balance like i was like okay i guess that that yeah. works <laughs> and i think for me one of the biggest shockers to be quite honest was the color change you I know, don't understand. Like for me, like color psychology, green always. Yeah. You know, green is money. No, they then say you go no. to orange to ODM. I saw, You're like, I saw, uh, I saw the the interview with Ali, and he he had a very deep I analogy. Know exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know exactly what, <laughs> what was he it. was saying. <laughs> And I was like, men struggle with colors. Some have called it green, blue, but we've moved from a very different uh, palette yes. of colors mm. uh, with the old loop mm -hmm. to a very uh, energetic orange. Okay. And this questions to, is that the color for financial services? Yes. Um, I've been in financial services 22 years and I've seen that transition <laughs> <laughs> where all banks wanted to be blue. Blue. But we were used to this. Still, so now, yeah. And if you're to move, and what you also ask me, what is it's the, like me deciding, yeah. like we're dating, oh, yeah. then I'm black, then tomorrow I come in, I'm, I'm Caucasian. And Wouldn't then, you be like, what the uh, hell? I'm new, I'm version two. <laughs> yeah. I'm so <laughs> you just have to ask, what is this? And you start telling me it's, it's energetic. It's and it's, no, it ain't. <laughs> okay. We <work> green. <laughs> but I was sold with this. And also it goes to, what is the IP? Or what's the IP? Because the, the product is not theirs. I mean the platform. Yeah, yeah. So I always thought it was the branding. It's like Nike. You know, we, yeah, we, we don't really okay. care where Nike is manufacturing these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's been proven. We don't. But it's the brand. It's the brand that yeah. we care. So yeah. I've always thought, okay, their IP is the brand. Yeah. But now they toss that out the window. So I'm like, what is it exactly? What, what are you? What are you guys? <laughs> Who are you? What did you patent? In all yeah, of yeah. these things, like, what is it that you guys would Sounds actually like go absolutely nothing. and say, this is ours? Yeah. And I, I struggled that and, and the brand, it, it all the colors, the logo, even the logo felt rushed. Like it's like they right. didn't do the. Just I a think quick it was start. your post where people were the post that you put on LinkedIn where people were showing. There's so many other. Yeah, <laughs> even on Twitter when it, when it came out, everyone was just like anyone who did a Google search. It's like yeah. There's a Kenyan financial app also called uh, Loop something um, with the same logo. Oh no. Loop Cash. Oh yeah. And it's like number four in, you know, uh, apps in Kenya, we, we do bets and loans, right? Yeah, yeah. And so if there was an alcohol app, that, that, would, the, would that, that, that there. one would be there. <laughs> so the one that's on top on this loop profile where, uh, with the financial is this loop cash, which has the same logo. So oh now no. you're here telling everybody, go to loop, go to loop, go to loop. You're actually marketing for some other guys <laughs> with the same logo. You should have just, you know, searched it. <laughs> Huh? I never noticed like you. There's this thing called like Simple Web or something where you can monitor apps on the stores and everything. I noticed that Loop Cash went up. Oh my gosh! When when the yeah, V2 launched, it actually went up. So you know they had an effect on it. Oh wow! So anyway, anyway, okay. Um, so I guess for me, if if we were because we are both product people, mm -hmm. if you are in the room as a product person and yeah. you are told build me loop v2 how would you how would you go about it what would be like your first step i mean the first step is always go to the customer like mm. go go ask the customer and go out, try to understand what is this customer that is doing and is it that we are talking to the same customer who is in the loop bank app or are we talking to a different customer who is in this loop light or whatever they're calling it now. And at what point do they meet? Because it's maybe at that point where you can say, okay, we can move some features here, some features here for these other guys. But are they really the same person? You know, is yeah. it the same persona or is it the same need or is it the same job to be done? Like, what is it of this particular customer uh, are we trying to achieve? Yeah. And before even you start talking to vendors, because then you get to the situation, should we build it, should we buy it? Those are the decisions, yeah, right? Yeah. But first, what are our guys trying to do? Yeah. And, okay, now there's this thing, because another thing I saw they were reacting to was the Payments Act. So they're like, the Bank Act has operates under this regime, Payments Act, uh, so let's now have an app that, even the money somehow is separated between you have the bank part of it and then you have the payments part of it, even in the app itself. So you have to transfer 
yeah. money from the bank. You see, it doesn't make sense yeah. that it's the same. Especially person. to a consumer, men don't know. This. Like, what is all that? <laughs> yeah, so money. now it's 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 in the research. I was like, oh, so they're trying to stay within the laws. So if if it was within the laws, just make a separate app, completely yeah. separate. Don't touch these guys. Yeah. Then when you see guys are starting to cross the limit of the payments app, because I think it's it's like Mpesa, so. Is it 150 or 300k? Yeah, something or something? Of sort, yeah. Once you start seeing, that means that person has reached maturity in this product. Move them to the... Move them to the next product. Yeah. It's the same thing with the Fuliza and the Mshwari. Once I start... You know, for them, it is, even for the marketing guys, it's a great sales pipeline. Like, how are we converting people all the way from Fuliza to Mshwari to the light, light to the bank, bank to the internet banking, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way until mortgages. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How do we now... Work out with that our customers. customer life cycle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to saying, "Listen, we are just going to bundle everybody, put them in this app, and hope for the best." Hmm. Let's just hope it all works out. Okay, I love that. So, custom, and I completely agree with you. I think it it, all, it has to start with customer segmentation. Yeah. Uh, aside from customer segmentation, what yeah. else would you do if you are yeah mid so head of products? Because I think they should fire that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where you are? Like, I don't know. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know, I and mean, he's he's the one taking the bullet, so let him <laughs> let him earn his salary. Mm. Um, and then also, then you start going into the you know the customer journey. You know, yeah. how how where, where are the emotions in this thing? Where where are they picking in terms of like, as I'm making this transaction, you look at each transaction and see the flow and see the journey. Where are they excited? Where are they anxious? Yeah. Where are they worried? Because like if you saw when they did the launch, most people the anxiousness was where's my money? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where's yeah, my, where's my investment? Where had investments, investments here? Yeah. I had loans. Well, my seven I had goals. credit limits. <laughs> I had all, even my credit limits were reduced, like zero. <laughs> like, I, it's like all this time I've been with you guys and then you just oh, threw me really? under the bus. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, it was it was painful. It was painful because, you know, you've been, it's, it's almost like savings, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're working on this. You're working on uh, this. credit. You know, like, hey, by the time yeah. here, I'll be buying a car. You know what? Then you're taken right back. To zero. To zero. And um, yeah. so the question is, you know, that journey. And, Understand those. Yeah. And yeah. the flow and the emotions around that flow, you know. So if, if someone from the Loop team is here in this, what are some, if you could give them just three emotions. Like I like how you said mm. the, when you're looking at the credit limits, yeah. like that's uh, something that they could easily fix maybe. I don't know now. I mean, I don't know how they can reverse that back. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they have your history, man. Like at clearly, the, you know, I think they did the migration, and the old uh, one must have had all the metrics for them because everybody seems to have a zero. Yeah, well, they reduced. No, I think it was reduced back to the, like three thousand shillings or something. Oh wow! And guys were really up there. So you know, you're you're dealing with like anxiety. Anxiety is a big one with uh, money. Money, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you're you're dealing with uh, uh, joy, especially like. When you receive money, you know, yeah, uh, and then yeah, I like the notifications. Yeah, that no, came, you know, yeah. you know, everyone likes getting money. Yeah, like, <laughs> like that impressive. Well, like, that hey, impressive yeah. thing comes, <laughs> and you're like, hey, <laughs> you, you know, um, and then uh, what's what would be the third one? Um, the third one's the tricky. Well, think about that one. You know, because, I think I can add to you. Hmm. Like as I said, I liked the fact. I mean, I had many really positive emotions yeah. when I used to use Loop. Like I like the fact of like. I don't know whether it was accurate, but the community said it. Like, yeah, exactly. where am I? And where's the other, where yeah, other exactly. people? Yeah. Like, this is how much you're spending on yeah. this, Wangari. Yeah. Bring it back. Next Come. month, think about it. Yeah. Bring it back. And that comparison. And you know, that's also like financial education. And, yep. you, you know, and you teach it. I love these guys. Uh, I don't know if you know these guys. They're coming up. They're called Fingo. I've heard about them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do check them out in your next app review. Uh, yeah. I mean, and... I was trying to even get on the other day and they almost have like 50,000 waiting list of people. Oh, nice. Uh, and I was like, you see, I mean, if you make a product, there are people out there who are doing And theirs is simple, you know, they're just trying, they say, I think four pillars, um, how you send money, how you spend money, how you save and how you receive. Exactly. Is it that it's <laughs> as, like even banks, it's as simple as that. And then just yeah. keep it there. And yeah. then now, you know, uh, that's how they're, they're, they're working on those four pillars. And then if someone needs anything yeah. out of that, that's another segment. If exactly. you're looking at international. So I think then they're looking yeah. at Gen Z, so they're yeah. doing like uh, chatting apps, but also education, mm. like how do you guys spend and, you know, uh, how do you save and things like that. So they're really trying to get closer to the, what the customer is, is going through and that particular uh, persona that they, they, they have targeted. And I feel that that's what that's these, what they these guys should, they should do. do. Should okay. do. And not just spray and pray. Yeah. <laughs>
mm. where prayer is our thing in this <laughs> yeah, country. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, aside from so we've course talked about customer segmentation mm. things we do. Would you, in terms of the color, like I mean, color color psychology is yeah. a big thing. Like, yeah. I don't know the orange. As I said, it just gives me. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, like if that was the orange, I know a few banks, like yeah. like ING, ING yeah. Bank. Yeah, it's the orange. I am used to that. Like, and I think I think that's the thing. It's like, it's I, what what is actually troubling is the switch because yeah, yeah, exactly. if they had started with orange, you'd have been but completely fine. This is what it is, and yeah. I think even the older. Uh, had elements of orange in it. Yeah, yeah. It was part of the color palette. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. So they could have played with that a bit more, but not totally Damn. abandoned it. Yeah. You know, and it's almost like this. They chose the what's what's. I'm not um, an artist. This is it the complementary color of green? Like they went, yeah, the oh, right the opposite side. You yeah. know, and it's not even a, like an adjacent color where you slowly you see, people. Yeah, yeah, it's not a shade of yeah, like, the green. Yeah. Exactly. They went totally opposite of what. And that's also what's catching people off guard. It's not, I don't even think it's the orange per se. It's just that we were used to. Yeah. And that's what a brand does. Once it's you have exactly. an emotional attachment to a brand. And that's why people are pissed off. <laughs> I was looking at their ratings. You I'm know? like, whoa, wait. Yeah. <laughs> this is like. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then even I was seeing the people who were, who were also giving them five stars. And then once again, you do a Google search, you really. <laughs> something that they should <laughs> stop an employee should not be rating your app like uh, i mean hey, like, <laughs> like the break, and i did the this job in, like banking <laughs> in safari yeah. i'm like why are you rating on your the app that they you like it you know <laughs> they they're like, like they're an individual they like their salary so, so they've kind of yeah they like this they've <laughs> kind of helped to bring that because legit i was surprised it has, it's at a 3.8 yeah. but when i dig do you dig deeper yeah, the yeah. ones at a five you're like yeah yeah you know you just and i'm like you know this day of transparency and obviousness you know it's yeah. like you either you either you know an employee or uh, an influencer, so you're like okay maybe. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's on the color. Yeah. Um, and anything else? When we now let's talk about the and I'm happy to chip in here, like the UX, the UI. Yeah. Like I think it's so cluttered. Yeah. Like I never know where exactly. to find anything. Yeah. Like it's just a lot. What would what what would we advise them around? that aspect of it and i like even like even just going back to the fifth, four pillars you talked yeah, about exactly. <laughs> and that's what they originally had they had four tiles i, yeah. I remember this app exactly. like it was my toothbrush up every day i'd use it it's a daily yeah. driver but then i don't know i don't know what happened uh, but that's the thing you, you, you look at what are the transactions people are doing yeah you know especially on a constant thing yeah. i know they're pushing this uh virtual cards and multiple cards but is that a is daily that a thing, thing yeah. the qr code is that a daily thing that you how know, many cards do you have i mean i've got two cards yeah With uh, the same bank or different banks? no different banks okay. so i have you know i have the loop one and then i have a standard charter. you're still on loop I'm still there, oh. you know. That's why, you know, I, I feel like an abused relationship. You know, it's like I'm still there. Yeah. So, Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I, we can, we can work on this. You know, we can work. Me, on I'm it. extreme. Me, I removed all my money. <laughs> then I even was left with negative forty-eight. <laughs> then they even telling me I have an overdraft. So I was like, you lost money. <laughs> so I was like, I'm done. <laughs> you are dead to me. <laughs> no, I'm just but like, like, I have, still, I even have hope. My cards. I was just like, I just have hope. <laughs> I have. Here's the thing. You know. They they have an opportunity here. Most other can I call them also other startups. They have energy, yeah. But they don't have the capital to back that energy. These guys have a whole subsidiary called yeah, yeah. capital money th that <laughs> they can use. So most founders are struggling to either raise money. Once they get yeah. the money, they're looking for employees. Yeah, yeah. Once they get the employees, they're trying to sell. So they're talking to marketing. But these guys have departments and arms for all of this. So their job is just to focus on the product they have the opportunity now all these other headaches that we normally have as a first founders yeah just you know just focus on this product now the opposite happens most startups have fantastic products but you don't know um, about them. they have no marketing these yeah. guys have a whole agency yeah for marketing when was the last time you saw an app with a tv ad launched on tv it's been that's disposable income yeah, in this day and age right yeah loop was there with a very big yeah, agency kind of advertisement yeah so 
they have that potential for but me I it's think that like potential I, I just think like again being in a bank trying to build an app like but that's why they, that shit but, outside but that's why they made this other company <laughs> yeah, by the way they've changed it many times it was it was bank oh, yeah. tech and then now it's loop dfs or something yeah, yeah, yeah. they need to move them out of that out. office Take out. them to Gong Road where all the other tech out. guys are. Or Ikigai or some some place where there's just vibes. Just throw them create. with a, with a, <laughs> with a room and tell them, listen, you're not you're not bankers. Yeah, you're not bankers because the problem you guys are facing right now is you're thinking with a banking hat. Yeah, and that's why you find there like four password levels with this app. You you log in. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jesus. You log in, <laughs> then the place with the balance has been blocked again. <laughs> Yeah. You will log in again. You want to transact? You, you will, yeah. Hey, you're like Allah. Who, who was the first guy who logged into this thing? <laughs> They're keeping your money safe. I was, and that's the banking, you know. And yeah. banks are risk averse. Startups are risk. Uh, they target risk. You yeah, know, yeah. they go. And so, when you have this clash of personalities and uh, cultures in the same organization, you'll find that one dominates. And unfortunately, it's the bank do- will dominate. Yeah, the banks are there. And the risk guys come in. You know, and the governance guys come in. And then by that time, you're just like, you know, I want to cry. Yeah, I just what and I just needed like, was um, a copy you know, of this one. And then now you're developing <laughs> via committee. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's just so like, hard. you sign off here. Someone has to sign off here. Someone has to sign off there. But like, how would you ask ask them? Like, like for me, like, how do you transition developing by committee? And I think this is where Agile is really strong. Yeah, it is. Like, developing in public. Like, imagine if every... Two weeks, these yeah. guys were launching. Hey, this is actually yeah. what we're thinking. See, Paul would have tell them, ah, no, no, Z, no, no, don't yeah. do this. Yeah, and of course, here's the thing: they'll always get a lot of noise. Huh? They'll they'll always have so much noise. But for example, now they they have seen there a lot of feedback. What I'll get is I'll get these guys of yourself, guys who the, the yeah, you guys myself, who did, reply to my emails. Uh, <laughs> what are they called? Techish guys. Uh, yeah. they also did a review, and I'll create like a customer advisory group or board whatever yeah. and i'm and like you as well. me i'm not mind give me per dm i'll be there yeah <laughs> <laughs> and just meet with these guys and say this is what we are this is our train. vision and these guys are vocal they'll let you know like hey, yeah this is good this is bad yeah. this is what's going on so it doesn't have to be like it's public but yeah, it doesn't but have to yeah, be okay. so whatever out there but yeah. at least you're getting the feedback and you're getting it you know as soon and as often you and as, as you honest as possible because yeah. sometimes i think like there's a clash if like like as you said the interview that mm. ali did like i don't think it was a very honest mm. like it wasn't a hard conversation he mm. wasn't being given honest I, the hard the hard questions were not uh, as hitting yeah it was too soft <laughs> like um it's just it's very careful to get people who like will honestly yeah. tell you yeah come on a bit of pc yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. so yeah, yeah. And I, I, you know, you it's painful to get feedback. I know I'm a product manager, so when you get that feedback, it's normally quite... But if you take it too hard, yeah. you're getting the wrong idea, you know. It's like, these are people who are passionate yeah. about your product. They want to be the drivers. Yeah, exactly. They're the early adopters. Yeah. They're the ones, you know, um, used to be the organization that was big with NPS, where it's who recommends your um your product so you want those guys who are recommending it yeah. it's better than any other marketing that you can possibly do yeah. it's the cheapest form and so you want those guys get their feedback then they will be promoting it on your behalf you just sit back and yeah you know. and also they can take the hit for mm. like you know you are advising us to use this app. Yeah. like okay yeah you know yeah. exactly you know yeah. and and even give you feedback like okay i see what you're doing but to be honest this is the direction i would prefer, I would prefer. and then if you see the data shows you you know, it's moving in that direction, then pivot because a lot of times with products, it's you start w- one direction, but you end up going somewhere. And you have to. Yeah. You have to pivot. Yeah. It's not always, it's not always this idea of someone sitting back. You know, everyone wants this like uh, Steve Jobs, <laughs> Elon Musk kind of Zen guy who just has this mad vision. And, but even they have to accommodate and you'll see all Steve Jobs interviews is, you start off with something, then you know as it, there's even worse because it has hardware. Then you're like, yeah, no, we man, can't do this. No, oh, the manufacturing can't do this. Yeah. So you adjust and you move and you become agile based on what it is, and you just don't say we're going and that's the end of that. And then I don't know for them also. I find it's it's hard because they also don't own the the platform. So now they're developing also via change requests. So oh no, oh that's no one that's taking forever <laughs> yeah, to, so to see yeah, like. Yeah, then the guys are. Like, I used to do sales, and it's it's 
fantastic. You're like, oh, you know, as a customer, you're telling, oh, so sorry, so sorry, we can uh, help you this. But Just raise a change request and here's the here's invoice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and someone has targets to, 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 yeah, to do that. So you find even those small things, it's difficult to do to quickly. To make changes. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, I completely agree with you. In-house development. Yeah. Like, and there's so many talented yeah. engineers in this country. Yeah. Like, even pay me. I can get you five engineers. We build something for you very quickly. And you get, like, a really nice product. Yeah. And, yeah. and you have the ownership on and the control and of this thing. Yeah. Uh, and it becomes... I, 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 I feel for them because to make those changes, and I'm sure they want to make those changes, and I'm sure they but have a lot of UX guys in there who are just crying and... But what can, what you, can do? you do? What can you do? So yeah. the most you can do is maybe change the font or change the light, the wording, but you can't really change the structure. As I said, moment of <laughs> silence for guys who build things in banks. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tough. You can't change the structure. So yeah, feel I feel for them. I feel for them. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. cool. Is it? Um, I guess a question for you. Would you would you go work and look, like advise, the, like either if they told you, okay, now be head of products. May, may I interviewed with them. I don't think I'm, I'm of their caliber. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why not? I wasn't. I was not even called again. So, did they give you feedback as to why? I was too entrepreneurial. I came to find out. You're too entrepreneurial. Yeah. Oh, well, so, what does that mean? Wouldn't you want someone who's entrepreneurial in this? Not in a bank, I guess. You know. Yeah. So I guess uh, that was the, and it was not at a direct feedback. This was side chatting. People. Side chatting. So. So what are they looking for? They're looking for someone who can work in that environment with the bank and deliver. I guess that's why they're getting products like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, um, and you, you know, you want that ready-made product. And they have big plans, you know. They want to go to East Africa. And, How? Uh, and they want to roll out. <laughs> that's a dream. I mean, they have the big numbers, you know. They're saying uh, 500 million. Uh, and, you wow. know, that is... I mean, you know, that's the size of the population. That's not really... You know, when you start breaking it down, like, total addressable market, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, obtainable market, address, none of that. But they're saying, uh, you know, 500, half a billion people. So there are big plans to roll out from, from what you're seeing in the annual reports, which is also interesting. When you read it, it's like one of their key pillars is customer experience. That's their core. And I was just like, wow. I mean, those guys frustrate me. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they're like, they don't care. They don't care. I was ready to give them all my money. Uh, At some stage, I used to loop, loop. And I'm just like, I'm done. Yeah. This is like, you guys just, you, you don't care about your customer. Don't even lie. Like, customer experience is one of your biggest. Like, yeah. even from your app to your customer care, people <laughs> to just how, like, it's just, it's, it's. I'm surprised that no. that's their biggest. Yeah, I mean, even I, but I, would know, I don't know who's heading experience because I know the lady who used to run it left i think she's in equity or something now so i'm not Equity. sure i'm yeah, not sure who's running it but it just caught me by surprise if it's really customer experience then they really need to you know Up give the, the resources put the people in place let that be the last person to make the call yeah and say, is this and if that's the last person yeah you can go through the committees the board but then at the end of the day let that person yeah make the call, make the call and say yeah it's good to go Awesome, cool. So I asked one of my designers, um, so you have the link for mm. the Figma link, yeah. to, I was like, Joel, if you were given an opportunity to design Loop, yeah. and it's like, well, what would you do? How would you, how would you um, like design it? Yeah. So he shared with me, which I, I think I'll just go through like really quickly. So he still has like the... The home screen, and yeah. it has the different ways to log in. Like, you can do a digital token, you can log in, do face ID. I like how he's, like, he's, he, there's, there's still the color green. Yeah, I like the way he kept, he kept. <laughs> but he has, yeah, he yeah. has those tones yeah. of, like, green, orange, yeah. yellow. Um, it's very easy to, like, swipe through those different cards. So you're yeah. going to say you liked what? No, I like the way he kept the, the, the brand is not, like, a heavy shift. Yeah, it's not a shift, too. You know, yeah. yeah, you still... I still recognize what this thing is. Yeah, you, know? you still know it's loop. And yeah. you're like, okay, I can see that you've, yeah. you've designed it. Um, I liked how, like, it's also very simple to see, like, you know, your balance. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> that's that's where my money is. I can all oh, my money it's is still, still good. There. Um, and there's no big sign saying. There's no sim. Show me. Show me balance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very simple <laughs> like um there's a very simple like transfer feature yeah. transfer you pay a, s- a service you send to contacts and if you want to view more put yeah, that somewhere exactly. else like it's not like you No, I said don't do it just just put true. in yeah you know one a lot of phones people like iPhones and it, they do a lot yeah they do a lot but they're in the background the things that you want to do they're there they're in the front and when you go looking for that they're like by the way we already have this then you really appreciate it and say wow Yeah, these guys really know what they're doing, but it's not in your face, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's not in your face. <laughs> exactly. The one I really liked, he told me that this app currently exists. The this feature is like a safe spending. So like like if you want to spend like more than say Kenya shillings 100, yeah. like it will tell you, "Oh, you know, it's like kind of like a a cashback." Yeah. Um so you wait for a day to complete or cancel anything that's above this amount, which nice. is like a pretty cool feature. Yeah. And then like he put in things like they are adding to stores and I think this is where like the super app comes in if you want to like pay to like Maidawa or yeah, Kafo yeah. yeah. you can add that but again would I use that um debatable and, and yeah. you know that's the stuff you you iterate and you yeah, you yeah, check yeah, your feedback I, like exactly. you test with a few guys you even launch it in a few you know you you roll it out to a few guys yeah in the app they see oh they're actually using it then we can roll it out to the too many people too many yeah more people. exactly Um then yeah I think it just he he did something very simple very quickly he yeah. didn't have much time I was you like see? And, eh. he didn't, and yet he did it <laughs> Yeah he was, just like And he was pro bono imagine Yeah like, exactly and he did it pro bono <laughs> man <laughs> So like this like even us like sitting down here mm. on a Sunday morning <laughs> talking about loop yeah. i'm not doing it because i want to bash no. them i actually think exactly me you have hope in them i i'm just like i'm i've removed myself from loop like go through the process tell me when it's done i might come back and check you out yeah. but i'm not going to we have to help we have to help you know it's one of those few <laughs> and yes and i think it's a kenyan company you yeah, know yeah, yeah. so for me it's exactly. like exactly we have to we have to figure a way so that they now become you know to the level of mpesa and all these things and people started realizing that yes in kenya we have really, really good, good products yeah, yeah we have the talent to deliver we can execute world class products you yeah. know uh and that's why like i still have so much hope in them like i still say listen you, you this you can always go back maybe to the thing but my money yeah? like, like it's just like you're telling me to leave it yeah. somewhere i can't like i don't know where it will what will happen i can't remove it Like uh, to me like I have but let me look at it from Bali. Yeah. Like I'll be like okay. No, it's sensitive but w- <laughs> that's where you know you have to live at the edge, yeah. <laughs> After okay. you have to risk it all. Like just see yeah. you know, if we lose money we lose money. Um but yeah, I mean I can't give up on them. Not you, you can't give up on them. Okay. No. I will keep following you seeing progress yeah. um on how it's going. I still have it here. I think I have like maybe like a thousand bob there that I just like to ch- check what's going on yeah. once in a while. I I keep that um, money there, but as my main bank? Yeah. No. That has to change. Even I said to they cut the card. You know when you're angry <laughs> oh you're my like gosh. F this bank. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> like, gosh. That, that is, person. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> Mad at them. How do you do this? And you know like as a consumer sometimes you feel like you own that product. Yeah. No, that's like that's, it's mine. that's that's the whole purpose of products. <laughs> yeah. Someone is supposed to say like this is mine, it's you know? Mine. It's mine. It is mine and my... how dare you? Yeah. And that's how you know you've got you've a good brand, uh, exactly. and a good product. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. now there's that ownership and man, if you guys if you actually even just cut it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just like I'm done. That is, Whatever. Uh, Um is there anything else we wanted to touch on um I, I think we've talked at, about advice if you were in that position um how you'd build in public mm-hmm. I like the idea of like yeah. advisors and yeah. like getting people who actually are happy to collect this information yeah. and push this um product forward anything else Yeah and to? I think also I don't know I feel internally if they can give their team more oh, yeah. voice because yeah. I I strongly believe there are people in that organization who are raising the same issues we're raising. Yeah, give them yeah. I cuz they're losing someone, money at the end of the someone's day. Someone's voice is yeah. is being squashed there. Someone's voice is just shh, yeah. the mother, you're <laughs> yeah. not the I am the hippo, you yeah, make me yeah, listen I'm to me. I'm the one who yeah. and if they can That's get that one. voice internally, I'm I'm pretty sure you'll find um the process is now moving fast. Faster. Yeah, and they're I iterating through much much better product. 
Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I mean, I completely agree. Give your product people, yeah, a voice. And also, mm. like, I think even just like doing iteratively, if you're scared mm. to give them all this power, yeah, just like this. Like, this is how agile is really helpful. Like, yeah. just give them small little parts. Oh, yeah. they've had a small win in this. Yeah. Like you'll see, exactly. these small little wins yeah. will turn into something very big <laughs> very at big. the end. I yeah. Agree. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, anything else? So that was it. No, I mean, um, I mean, I just like it. I love products, so yeah. Also, wanted to see what else is out there. You know, I'm excited to see the other apps, like I was telling you. Yeah, the, Fingo. I'll the check Fingo it out, guys. Uh, all the other fintechs that are coming out in Kenya, um, just exciting. I think we are in that place and time where you know great products are being made now, and you know, in maybe twenty, thirty years, we'll look back and say, "Wow, this was the." the point of inflection for a lot of those, awesome. for those cool. products. And let me ask you, just like putting it out there, if like, if like by chance, like the Loop team come and reach out to you, would you be willing to, I mean, I don't believe in giving things out for free, but mm. run a workshop. You know, I think it's as simple as like, how do you give your product people autonomy yeah. and um, that power to make decisions? Exactly. How do you do like proper yeah. customer feedback? How yeah. do you segment? If there's nobody in house who knows yeah. how to do this is this something you're willing to do yeah you know as I, as I mentioned you know i did consulting for such a long time and it's always fun you know yeah it's, you you enter all these uh you're embedded in all these companies and you see where the problems are so i'm always open to that and you know how can we engage with them and the team and then with also customers you know, if it's workshops, yeah, yeah. if it's uh, even going actually through a whole building sprint, stuff. you yeah. can actually just yeah. do a couple of sprints with them. Then, um, yeah, I mean, that would be fantastic, you know. Yeah. Um, if it's yeah, the next upcoming products. I know, I hear they, they have other products like the Merchant that is coming uh, out and all, yeah, all these things. You know, just go through this process with those prior to actually just really releasing really you something. know yeah. that's how you everything is agile even the process itself should yeah, be agile. It should, should be, be agile, it, yeah. you know you, you have to go through it you have to go through the motions and then that will result in something fantastic at the end awesome mm. cool thank yeah. you those are great um parting shots and i think like i love how robert put it like i love africa i love I know that we have the capacity to build great products. We have um, the ability. We can execute well. We can deliver well. And Loop is like, it's a Kenyan brand. And we want to elevate you. We want to see success in you. But when you're doing things wrong, like I'm more, I'm more than happy to call you out and be like, yo, man, you could have built this product better. And that's basically what we're doing here. No, maybe it might feel like bashing, but take this as like feedback and myself and he, him and I are very open to like help. Um, as we said, um, I, I don't do stuff for free. He doesn't either. Um, but um, we're keen. We're keen to, to get this product back where it is. He's still a customer. I'm like a very passive <laughs> customer there. <laughs> Just seeing as things change, not yet moving on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to hear the viewers' thoughts. Um, is there anything we missed? Um, are there like other banking apps that we're not aware of that in Kenya that are really cool? Um, what are your thoughts on super apps? Like the how everyone's trying to become a super app from Safaricom to Little Cap to now Loop. Um, would love to hear those thoughts. And thank you for listening. Um, click on that subscribe button, share, and leave a comment. Until next time, Kwaheri.